Hello, Dragon Ballers and Digi Destin. We're here with some Digimon gameplay today. I'm using the gameplay simulator by, I think their company is called A Bit Nerd. Uh, I think that's the name of their design team, at least. But, anyways, we're playing on a simulator. This is really cool because I can play against a computer, so it's perfect for someone like me who's still learning the game. I have grinded a, a pretty decent amount of games the past few days, so I've been just learning the ropes more and more. I know I knew the rules going into it, but I just wanted to, you know, have a better grasp before I started making some gameplay videos. But basically, what we're going to do is uh, I'm playing the blue deck today. I've had a. Uh, I really I really like the blue deck. I think it just seems really strong. I've seen you draw a ton of cards. Now, granted, these decks are pre-constructed. I don't believe you can edit these decks at the moment. You also can't play against other players yet, but I'm sure they're still working on, on the software. Uh, it's pretty cool that they have it, to be honest. Um, but besides that, yeah, I've seen, obviously, a lot of the starter deck cards that we read over the course of the past few weeks, and some cards I've, I've seen are, like, promotional cards. I've seen some, um, some set one cards. So with that being said, we'll just get in uh, focusing on the gameplay. So as far as like uh, champion level Digimon, I don't have anything amazing. I've got what, two time. I can evolve one, two, go to zero. What does this guy do? If your opponent's Digimon is destroyed because DP was reached zero, draw one. Okay, that seems really good. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us here. All right, let's see. I'm thinking we can evolve onto that and be pretty much okay. I guess I got to keep the blocker out, which pretty much deters him from attacking with that guy or anything. He probably evolves into that. So I think with that, we could stack another mat. Can I? I thought I could stack tamers. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're going to stack another mat. So hopefully I'll be getting a big memory advantage when he starts just playing Digimon without, um, without evolution sources. All right. So he's playing another rookie. So that actually should be good for me. All your security Digimon gets, how much was that? Plus something. Yeah, some of the hovering mechanics are a little weird. I can't hover over his tamer, but uh, that's okay, I guess. We had a really good curve here. I actually just played a game just before this and I hit like no rookie Digimon. So that felt really bad, but this time it is going much, much better. I've got quite a lot of time here and I guess it's because of my mats there. So evolving into a champion, I do want to go into Gururumon here still have a lot of time so i'll drop where guru on drawing cards off that just obviously feels really good i don't really want to attack with the blocker i mean you're pretty disincentivized for attacking with it because you lose memory so honestly i'd rather just i think i'd rather just play the bear mon and, and call it a turn and again i'm no digimon pro i would not dare to say i'm as good as digimon as i think i am at dragon ball um but some basic card economy stuff i don't want to give my opponent too much mana or time essentially so he's attacking with Patamon. I can't hover over it while he's attacking. That's a little bit unfortunate. But I think I'm going to block it. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Again, I can't really read what he does. I don't remember off the exact top of my head. But he attacks my security stack. He loses the Digimon because I had a Weregururumon in there that was way too big. Uh, they're going to tie here, Gabumon and Weregururumon. So that's going to die as well. So that was some pretty luck, pretty good luck there for me. He's just going to hard cast Magna Angemon. For every three security you have, your Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP. And then one play at recovery. Place one card to your security. All right, that's uh, pretty annoying, but we shall see what happens. I do still have quite a lot of time. I'm going to get Gobblemon into play. Gets me a free draw there. That feels really good. All right, in terms of attacking, what do we have going on here? Well, your opponent has Digimon with no evolution sources, which he does, which is nice. Uh, I get to check extra stacks. Uh, this is the one that gives me extra DP. I think I should use it because I really don't want to lose my Wear Garurumon. Although, it's going to be a little bit unfortunate if he decides to attack into it with the Magna Angemon. Although, I guess Magna Angemon is smaller. So, as long as I don't give him too much time, I think I'll be okay. Alright, so that's the plan. I don't want my Wear Garurumon to die, so we'll give him the extra DP. And we'll just go right into the stack. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Seraphimon in the stack, that's so unfortunate. Okay. So that foils my plan of going into Metal Garurumon. Very sad, very sad. All right, so that evolves for two, that should be fine. One, two, we put him back to his turn. I think I can just go into Wear Garurumon, which I guess will let me get into Metal Garurumon next turn, so. I guess this feels okay. I do have one blocker still. Not that I really need. I think three stacks is still pretty good. It's so unfortunate that I hit a Seraphimon in there. I'm pretty sure that was the only thing in his deck that could have, uh, or maybe Magna Andromon as well. 
or sorry, Magna, Mag, Magna Draymon, I think is what it's called. So he's going with the Magna Andromon. Wow, a lot of big names here. 6,000 to 6,000. That seems pretty worth to block it and with it and then just crash, right? Seems pretty worth it. His little Digimon are pretty likely to die here. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. His, his little Digimon are pretty likely to die if they attack into my stack. Although, I think at this point, he's probably okay. Oh, he's going to pass turn with the uh, Sukumon not actually attacking me. Interesting. All right, so we got the hatching. We will evolve Gobumon on top to get a free draw. That feels pretty good. I can start making another chain. But now, what does this guy say? Well, this Digimon has Garurumon and its evol uh, evolution sources. Put this Digimon to active. I do not have that, which is a bit unfortunate. I think I want to make Metal Garurumon in my raising area rather than my battle area. All right, so let's do this. Let's go right into the stack. All right, yep, he's going to kill me on that one. All right, so that's actually important to remember. I actually forgot that his mat gives his security actually extra, extra DP. So maybe we don't want to just go full gung-ho into that. All right, so now that I have two Metal Garurumons, I think I'm just gonna evolve this and pass her. I am actually still missing a Mega, or sorry, an ultimate level Digimon to go over Garurumon there. So he's flipping his Raising Area. And he's gonna pass right away, interesting. Huh. Why did I, I, wonder, I wonder why I only got one time. He didn't play anything, right? As far as, unless I missed something there. That was a little weird. But anyways, we get Garurumon into play. I really want to put something over this Garurumon because I want to get the inheritable effect of drawing. I can remove a Digimon from underneath him. That's pretty cool. All right, I guess we just get right into attacking the stack. Yes, we will discard an evolution source. Nice, we still beat over Magna Andromon. This guy restands. Now, if I am correct, he should not have anything under his Unimon. No block, because he would basically just die for free there. Let's see, I don't really want to attack with Garurumon. I don't have anything to evolve over it, which is definitely unfortunate. I don't have a lot of time to work with. So I think we're just playing Bearmon and giving him a little bit of time. Not too much, though. Definitely not too much. All right. He's playing a Angemon and passing. What does is, what is extra card do? Return one of your opponent's Digimon back to the hand. Discard all evolution sources underneath it. Okay. Definitely don't want to do that because that's seven cost. Probably not the best that we drew that, but that's okay. All righty. All right. It's being a little buggy. Sometimes with the hovering stuff, it's a little bit buggy. Oh, I guess I'm in the hatching phase. That's why. That makes sense, actually. All right. Bearmon on top. Drawing another Metal Garurumon. We are missing a middle piece, though. We definitely need a middle piece. I guess playing the blocker feels okay here. I guess that feels okay. Did I just draw another Metal Garurumon? Oh, my goodness. All right. We got to attack the stack. He's not blocking. Oh, another TK. That actually could hurt. All right. We got to attack the stack. I think I can actually win here. Unimon. Whatever I swing with next is getting blocked. Those should crash, I think. Oh, it's actually bigger for some reason. That was weird. And that should be the game. All right, cool. I win, guys. So um, I actually played against some computer games and lost, but I'm still kind of learning what the cards do, learning some of the mechanics. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. A little different today, I know. Some Digimon content. Uh, it's easy for me to do because I play against a computer. I get to learn a little bit and learn more what the cards do. So if you enjoyed, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.